Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe today, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big hugs, big hugs. I love you, I love you all my brothers and sisters. Um, everybody who's already subscribed, uh, my viewers, thank you all so much. Like I just said, I love you all so much, my beautiful brothers and sisters. Thank you for being here with me. For those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing a series. It's an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, The Two Yet One, book one here. I've read this book out loud live on Facebook, and I uploaded all those videos here to YouTube for you to watch for free. Just know that book two is published and available. All the links that you need for my books from uh, purchasing to watching me read them, uh, read book one aloud, um, is in the description box below. Okay, so um, let me just describe what we're doing here. Uh, so uh, since this is the Mother Speaks Tarot, uh, the channel that the Sacred Feminine asked me to create and even gave me the name because the sacred feminine has been silenced and ignored for thousands of years. I didn't even know she existed until I was in my 20s. So um, last month what we did for Mother's Day is we celebrated the mother all month long. Okay, um, So this month is Father's Day and um, this, uh, you know, we're a channel for the mother, but we love the father. We love the masculine. We really, really do. Of course we do. Uh, like I said, um, uh, when I first was growing up, I was raised Catholic. And so all I knew was God. All I knew was the father. And I've always loved him so much. He's always been my best friend. And um, so uh, we respect what the Father has to say, and so this month we are getting our messages from Father Energies, okay? Um, so last week we got our messages from Master Jesus. This week we're getting our messages from Thoth, okay? It's so weird that I am saying Thoth, Thoth, because, or Toth. Because for years, I've been calling him Thoth, okay? Uh, it's like today I woke, or no, it wasn't today. It was a couple of days ago. All of a sudden, he's just started to be Toth, okay? So that's what I'm going to call him today, okay? So um, the, the deck I'm going to be using is his deck, Toth. Okay, um, this particular deck doesn't have reversals unless I feel it intuitively. Okay, so if you don't know who Toth is, he's the ancient Egyptian god of writing. Um, his uh, wife is Ma'at, balance, and he is a moon god, which is why I have the moon. Uh, my moon lamp out here, okay? A long time ago, I was meditating on him, and um, I heard him say in my head, he says, you are a good daughter. So that's why he is in, he is a father energy uh, for this, this month. Okay, so at the end of the uh, if I need to clarify, sorry guys, I'm a little off today. If I need to clarify, I'm going to use my teeny tighter, tiny writer deck. And um, at the end of the reading, I'm going to use the Isis Oracle. Yes, this she is the uh, feminine, but there is a lot of masculine cards in here. And, um, you know, I, I don't have a, a Toth Oracle but um, these are very, very deep, okay? So these, I'm going to pull only one of these at the end because I have to read from the book to give you the entire message, okay? All right, uh, have I done everything? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, Virgo. As a reader, um, I'm very much divine, masculine, and feminine. You can see that with my books, okay? 
She's Luna, the moon. He's Sunny, the sun. This is all about the balance of the masculine and feminine. So I read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will. I read major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. That is the, um, that is the, like basically the story that you wrote for your own life. Uh, before you incarnated so that you would encounter and hopefully learn certain um, deep, deep lessons of life that when learned, raise both the vibration and the wisdom level encoded in your soul. So when I am looking at the major arcana cards, um, it's kind of like looking at fate, but not really uh, because of free will. There are times when um, there's something in our life that we absolutely cannot change no matter what we do. And those are written into our divine blueprint like that. And those are indicated to me by the Wheel of Fortune card, which you don't have. Okay, one more thing. Um, I record my readings here with earbuds with a microphone. And I just had to get some new ones. So let me know if you feel, if you hear like any, um, any noise in the background or anything like that okay just let me know and i might have to get uh, a new one because i um i tried it out and i thought i heard something kind of like staticky in the background so let me know if you if you hear anything like that all right so let's get started here virgo right here at the heart of everything you have the empress the sacred feminine Okay, this is a Libra and Taurus card. She is in the right side up, so that is awesome. Okay, now this could be an empress, an actual person, or this could just simply be representing the abundance in your life. The sacred feminine is, if, if you want to know her qualities, just think about the goddess Venus or Aphrodite. Um, there, she is all about beauty, love, money, prosperity, uh, uh, sensuality, sexuality, abundance of your, of your life, okay? So um, at the heart of everything is this empress energy. So your, your, um, the fertility of your life here is uh, what spirit is focusing on for this particular week. Now, these are um, timeless readings. So whenever you see this reading is right for you, if you are attracted to it and it's resonating, this is right for you, okay? So it doesn't matter when I record this, but they're, they're usually good for about a week, okay? Because I do weekly readings. So this week, um, Spirit is focusing on the abundance of your life. Now, this second card that crosses it, the energy that crosses what's at the heart of everything, um, while this card is what's at the heart of everything and this is the root of everything, the what this card actually means changes. Okay, so I have to use my intuition for what this card is doing. And this is the Nine of Swords, okay? So what we have here is, um, look. I mean, look at that. The swords are air. Uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So I've mentioned Libra twice here. Um, uh, sword energy is all about the mind, okay? And cruelty is the name of this card. And I also want to point out this is the symbol of the masculine, okay? So what I feel like is going on here is you are really worried about this feminine energy okay so like um so this is feminine this is masculine all right so your it's like your feminine energy is in the right place it's it's in a sacred place okay um but this because of this um this particular card with, with the symbol of the masculine on here, which is also the symbol of Mars. Mars rules the emperor. It rules Aries. It is the masculine. You'll see here uh, on her card, on the empress card here, you see 
I don't know if you can see that, but this is, yeah, there you go. That's the symbol for female, also feminine, also Aphrodite, Venus, the planet Venus. So you'll see. So what you've got is the masculine and the feminine. So your feminine, your, your feminine is in the right place. She's the empress. She's abundant. She's beautiful. She's kind and loving and gentle and all that, okay? But you're worried about her, and this worry is a masculine energy, okay? That's because this is something that's causing you pain. This is nightmares, sleepless nights, overthinking, um, unhappiness, you know. So to me, what I'm getting is that the, the, the masculine uh, energy that's going on here is what is out of, this energy is out of uh, balance, okay? And there's something about the blood, something about the blood, hang on, hang on. It's exhausting you, like you don't have any blood in your body, like you've been bled out, okay? This is also a nine. Nine comes before ten, as we know, and ten is the end. You're almost done with this worry, okay? Now, this is what's at the root of everything. Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This one in particular is a Scorpio energy. Now, in this deck, this doesn't have um, reversed meanings. However, that's what I'm feeling from this card, okay? Now, this is what's at the root of everything for you, okay? This is you having been living in the past, and now you're leaving behind past loves and experiences to move towards the future, okay? This is the past and nostalgia and all kinds of stuff. This is leaving that in the past and moving towards the future. Awesome. Now, interestingly enough, uh, here we have in your um, recent past, the energy that is moving out of your life. This is worry. Okay? This is worry right here. So, this is saying that this didn't fully manifest, this worry. Okay, now the five of coins is always feeling left out in the cold, almost always. Being left out in the cold and looking at the glass as half empty instead of half full. This is the lack consciousness, okay? So, uh, maybe you never got to the lack consciousness, which is good. But right now, what I'm feeling is that uh, you weren't worried, okay? You were not worried until now, okay? Now, that's probably because what you're doing is you're leaving the past in the past. And we're always a little bit uh, nervous when we get to a new phase in life. Now, since this is Earth energy, which is you, with Capricorn and Taurus, and, you know, mostly Taurus here. You can see Taurus right there. Maybe you were not worried about your money. This is money. This is health and wealth. But since you've got the Empress here, I just feel like this is your abundance. You were not worried about this, this abundant, uh, the energy of abundance in your life. Now you seem to be worried about it, but because this is swords, this is really just your mind, okay? You're overthinking. Um, this card causes the illusions. This card, that's why it's called cruelty, because you're actually being cruel to yourself. Someone could be being cruel to you and, and causing um, a lot of worry for you, um, but the, that's what I like about the difference between this. You never really worried about your actual health and your wealth. Um, now you're worried about your feminine energy here. 
Um, but I just have a feeling that spirit is saying that this is just, this is just in your mind. There's really nothing to worry about. Okay, so the next two cards for me as a reader are future cards, and we'll go ahead and read this one first. Now, this one uh, is also in the reverse, and this is the Prince of Swords. Uh, in this deck, there are no kings, and there are no um, pages. There is the queen, the knight, the prince, and the princess. And here we have the Prince of Swords. Okay, so this prince is... Like I said, swords are um, all about intellect, okay? He would, he would be more of the, well, hang on. What am I trying to say here? Okay, so he is very um, intelligent. He's well-educated. He produces ideas at high speed. He's kind of a lot like the Knight of Swords. Okay, he's in reverse, so he hasn't manifested just yet. But here's what I really feel like when I get this card, this is about an initiate into the occult, into the mysteries, basically. Okay, so there's, there could be an air sign. We have mentioned Libra twice, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and this doesn't even have to be an air sign. This could be you in the future. That uh, this is beginning a serious course of study, um, a, a serious spiritual course of study. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And it's very healing. I'm seeing this dark emerald green, the emerald green light of Archangel Raphael. Okay. Um, that type of study will slow you down so that you actually learn because sometimes this guy can start things and not finish okay he moves on too quickly a lot like the night now this is your other future card um, this also has not manifested just yet okay now, I, I feel sometimes when I have these cards upside down and I'm reading them as not fully manifested yet or fully in power yet, what I mean is that they will eventually flip and then they will be in their full power. Um, sometimes I would say that these are possibilities. However, I feel like these are definitely going to flip. Okay, These are definitely going to happen. Um, you or... Now, this is... This is you. You're going, to, um, you're going to start learning some deep stuff because you're smart enough to do it. And you're going to have everything that you want. This is your own card. See, there you are, Virgo. This is a happy home. This can be a whole bunch of money. This can be inheritance, okay? But this is basically a happy family energy. Um, I, I just keep seeing inheritance. Inheritance. And happy family. Oh, okay. Well, that's all. I keep getting here so hold on here oh wow this course of study this is what I'm getting now this is your inheritance learning uh, about spirituality, about the mysteries, this is your birthright. Birthright. And yes, it will bring money, but that's what this is. Because there's more to life than just money and possessions. There's a richness that comes from 
studying life itself, life here on this planet. And when you begin on this journey, it brings everything, all the blessings of this place. Of Mother Earth, of the feminine herself. This will calm your mind. Once you know, once you've learned, your mind will be calm. You will understand. Ooh, okay. All righty, Daddy. Tough. I knew you were going to get deep, man. All right. Now. Remember, tens are endings, okay? So you got a nine and you got a ten here. Now you have another ten here. Now this is um, your hope card. No, you're not hoping for ruin. Of course not. What this is, is all the backstabbing, all the bullshit is over. And it will be, okay? You're almost there. Nine and ten. This is what's, go this is what's going on now. This is your hope, and since this card showed up, it's going to work. This card has an element of balance to it, because you see the scales up there? What, this, what that means is that this is like karma, and see this little circle and a dot? That represents the sun. In a lot of different um, decks, you'll see a person laying there, and the sun is rising because it's, it's meant to, and their back is full of swords and that's meant to say that yes you were stabbed in the back yes you were you know fucked up but um, it's over now and the sun is rising and the element of Libra here so this is like the third time I've mentioned Libra um, the element of Libra is is the balance of life the balance is all the beginnings and the endings the equilibrium okay so you're hoping for an end to all this I think you're going to get what you are hoping for you see the ten of swords you have the one two and the three here and the heart right there that's the three that's heartbreak and then this is all the other bullshit that came after it but it's over okay it's over you're hoping for it to be over. Keep hoping for that to be over. But I think it is because you've got this other 10 over here that's getting ready to manifest. Like I said, too, I'm getting this message about your mind is going to be at rest. Okay? Because right now, you're very worried. You can't sleep. You're torturing yourself. But it's going to be over because this is going to turn into this. All right, so you've got two tens. So this is when I would, um, this is when I recommend you either pause the video or do this after the video and go ahead and look up angel number 1010. Now, this is your current state of being. Now, you, if you have been with me for a while, you know that I see masculine and feminine as equal. A king and a queen are the exact same power. The emperor and the empress are extremely powerful. They each have their own em empire. The empress doesn't uh, just marry the emperor and now she's empress. She made her own empire, okay? This is how I see these things. So here, you're getting ready. So the prince and the princess is what I'm trying to say, is they're very similar. This is your future. This is your current state of being. Now, the first thing that I always get from this card is the anger of the gods. This is what this card is for this particular deck. This is why I use different decks for these different messages. So right now, I think you are really mad. I think you are super angry. I think that you are, and, and the anger of the gods this is when you're angry for a good reason. Because this princess 
does not tolerate injustice and manipulation, thievery, things like that. She cannot tolerate that. And unlike her mother, the queen of swords, who is the master of her mind, unlike their mother, because remember, there is no king in here, just a knight. <clears throat> their mother has mastered her mind. She knows how to not allow people to get her goat, how to not allow people to make her angry and lose her, um, low, basically lower herself to their level. So that's why she's angry. See, the queen of swords wouldn't be this angry. She would just calmly deal. But she hasn't grown up yet. She's still a princess. There's still a lot to learn. How to calm your anger. How to um, stop letting anger be a bump in the road before you get to the good stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? When, when people or things uh, bring you into a state of anger, you're usually stuck in that. And it isn't until you calm down that a solution can be, a good solution anyway, could possibly be applied. Anger is a waste of time and energy. And you're sending out angry energy that will come back to you. Okay? So, I mean, I think that something made you very angry. And... It may have something to do with this. I mean, if this isn't just your energy of abundance, this could be a person. This could be someone you love. This could be your empress. If you see yourself as the emperor, because I don't do gender here either. This is a feminine energy, yes, but this could be a man. I think you're very worried about this empress. Uh, because you found out something that has made you very angry. Oh, the next thing, um, she also embodies um, the formation of ideas into reality. Okay, she is very intellectual, very perceptive, and intuitive. She is... Um, a very good observer and she often gives others clarity and insight clarity and insight okay so this is your fear um, all that I'm hearing is that you're afraid you'll have no choice. Now here is, this is the card of Scorpio, and up here we have the feminine again. Scorpio's card is death. I don't know why I'm pointing that out for you, but it just feels like you might be afraid that something's going to end with your feminine energy here. Now, you know, seven, I'm being, I'm hearing seven is the number the world was built on. So I'm also feeling like you're afraid you'll have no choice but to not build with this feminine energy that it'll all just end. Yeah. If, if this empress isn't a person for you, you're afraid that you won't have any choices that, and, and that this was just an illusion that you had. Uh, you may have thought you had choices before, so you're afraid that these choices to bring in abundance were never true or they're going to die. Scorpio, the death card, or, you know, change, major change. Um, you know, this card is also called debauch. So this has um, a heavy element of uh, indulging in mind-altering substances like possibly drinking too much or smoking um, a whole hell of a lot of something or, you know what I mean, like cannabis or anything else. Doing too much of something 
that alters your mind. But mostly what I feel like is that you're afraid that you're not going to have choices and that this abundance is not going to pan out. Now, here is the potential outcome, and this is the hanged man in the reverse. Now, mm -mm. nope, this is not Okay, let me explain something, just in case you don't know. Now, oh, well, first the thing, first I want to show you is, remember last week, if you guys were with me last week when I was getting messages from Jesus and I had my crucifix right there where my moon is, I said that this is the hanged man energy, um, you see? He is, he's, he's actually Osiris. This is Osiris, okay? But you see this? This is... This is the hanged man energy, okay? Now, like I said with this deck, if it's upside down, this energy is not in full effect. However, I don't feel that. This is when you are looking at something from a different perspective. However, I feel like you are going to look at everything from a different perspective already. When it's when the hanged man is in the reverse, this is when you, okay, so the hanged man hangs himself upside down to get a new perspective, to get this enlightenment. When he's right side up, like, well, upside down like this, <laughs> he's upside down, and this is the right side up way. See, that? I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, but when he's like this, and this is what I'm feeling, is the upside, the, the reversed meaning of this, is that you're going to have this enlightenment. You're going to get this enlightenment, and because this is, um, a major arcana card here. This is a huge part of your divine blueprint. This is the second. You only have two major arcana cards in this reading, Virgo. So two out of ten cards means that you have most of the control in this. And why do I feel like you're going to get enlightenment? Well, because you are going on a spiritual path. You haven't started it just yet. But it's coming. It's coming. This is the underlying energy. Card of Sagittarius. Hanged man. Now, you see this? I love this. This card, this is the, okay, so the nine of wands. You've had two nines now, even though this isn't part of the spread, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you look up angel number 99. But you see these progressions that you have, you got a five, you got a six. Okay, you've got nines and tens. You, you got this seven. Um, yeah, you're, th this whole situation is almost done. And that's what this card is saying. This is the underlying energy. This is the wounded warrior card, okay? This is when, see how the moon is down here in the darkness, and as you rise up, there's the sun, okay? So we've got this whole masculine and, and feminine thing going on here. Now, this is when you, a person has fought nine battles or however many battles, and they're resting up now to gather the last bit of their strength. This is called the strength card here in this deck. So, and these are the arrows of Sagittarius as, as well. Now, what this is, is um, preparing for the last battle. And that's why I'm saying this is almost over. The sun is rising from the darkness to the light. Like I told you about this right here. This Ten of Swords, the sun is rising, it's over. The sun is rising, nine and ten, even though this is wands and this is swords. This is, this is communicating to me that way, okay? So you're, you're coming out of the darkness up into the light. The sun 
is the masculine. We see how right here, this masculine, your masculine mental energy, you're almost there. You're almost done. You are rising to the sun, which is the happiness. Okay. Also, Leo. Not sure why I had to mention Leo, but there may be a Leo involved. All righty. You know, I don't think I need to clarify anything. So let's go ahead and ask Isis to help talk, give you your message. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All that good stuff. Check out my books. Wow, that was fast. Holy crackers. Oh, oh wow. Life restored. Good God, Virgo. Life restored. Okay. Let me look that up in the book. Life restored. Okay, dokies. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, life restored. Look at that beautiful scarab. I love this deck. Priestess of the Phoenix. <laughs> Spiritual resurrection is gifted to you now. Yeah, spiritual path. A, a resurrection like Christ. That's why I was mentioning it. A spiritual resurrection oh my god i love it when spirit does that stuff okay i'll just read it whatever part of you or your life you thought to be dead is being revived and will flourish back into life just as the phoenix rises from the fire transitioning from death into life so too will you rise again healed and renewed okay i'm sorry i'm sorry but like i was saying oh my god death the 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 scorpio the the card of death here and your life uh your abundance your uh your spirit life whatever you thought was dead is it, it, that's why you're worried about this uh, okay, all right. Enough of that. Just read it. Okay. Oh, wow, gets me. All righty. So, life restored brings messages that a trauma, ending, struggle, or apparent defeat is not the end of the story for you now. <laughs> what may appear to be an ending can sometimes simply be the forces of ancient feminine power flowing into new pathways, pulling energy away from old forms so that they can transition into new forms. Yep, it's your feminine energy, the Empress energy here. Holy God. Uh, this can take short or long periods of time. It could be over days or years, weeks, months, decades. Yeah, it doesn't matter how long something appears to have been decaying. It will spring back into life at the right time. Oops, sorry, I'm not holding it right. Just as the River Nile subtly 
adjusts its course over time, so too with the, will the river of light that flows through you, filling you with life force and divine energy, move with innate wisdom. Wisdom! You can trust what is happening to you now. Something important to you is coming back to life. It might even feel like you are coming back to life after a period of increasing emotional numbness, physical or psychological struggle, or spiritual disillusionment. It might also be a lifestyle, practice, business, or relationship, new or old, that is coming to life now. Yes, it is. You're going on a very serious path to enlightenment. Wow. You are guided by divine priestess of the Phoenix, Sister Isis, to turn your face to the sun. Turn your face to the sun. Look up and rise. Look at this, the sun right there. It's happy. Just as the sacred scarab beetle follows the movement of the sun, you are encouraged to focus on the light and life that is seeking you now. Do not resign yourself to the way things have been. Let go of the past. Oh, you totally are doing that. You've already done that. Oh, my God. Um, be brave and bold and allow the Phoenix Priestess to inspire you to realize that the return of life, no, the return to life, the restoration, the resurrection is upon you now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Talk. You are magical. Holy moly. Uh, okay. Have hope and optimism. Just because something has fallen away in the past does not mean it will not have value and be able to grow in the present moment. Take what is going to be offered in your life, the rebirth that is happening, into your wide open arms now. And be assured that you have transitioned through the energies of death and into new life now. Peace to you, dear initiate of the light. The past is over. Enjoy your rebirth. <laughs> Initiate of the light. Enjoy your rebirth. New. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, I can't get any more clear. Um, thank you so much, uh, Toph. My good, good, good friend. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you at this time. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, please don't forget to like and share and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.